Okay, it's time for our star story. We're going to read Every Autumn Comes the Bear by Jim Arnosky. Jim Arnosky is the author and the illustrator. That means he wrote the words and he drew the pictures. Okay, look at the front cover of this book. What do you see on the front cover? Let's see if the title gives us a clue. Every Autumn Comes the Bear. Remember, autumn is just another word for fall. The time of the year when many animals get ready for winter. What do you think bear will do to get ready for winter? Let's read the story and find out. There is a wooded hill behind our farm. It is a wild and rugged place with as many rocks as trees. Every autumn after the leaves have fallen, the bear shows up. He walks out on the cliff where the ravens perch. He growls. He growls into the bobcat's lair. How does the bear feel when he sees a bobcat? Does he look kind of angry? How can you tell? Look at his face. The bear follows every trail just to see where each trail leads. What do you think the word trail means? A trail is like a type of pathway that leads through the woods in this story. He, drank, he drinks cold water from the spring. And claws a tall straight tree. The other animals hide from the bear, but he knows that they are there. Why would the other animals hide from the bear, you think? He smells the scent of a fox. He hears a grouse bursting into flight. So the bear knows that the other animals are there because he's using his senses. How did he figure out that there was a fox and a grouse close by? Do you remember what was said on this? He smells the scent of the fox. He hears the grouse bursting into flight. When the hill is white with snow, the bear climbs the highest rock. He looks up out over all the treetops. Then searching amid the hilltop boulders, he finds a den and crawls inside. Nestled there against a cold rock with only fat and fur to keep him warm. He sleeps all winter long. When do you think the bear will wake up again? That's our star story for the day.